This brief video will show you how to correctly put on and use the WatchPad sleep diagnostic device. You should put the WatchPad device on when you are already in your pajamas just before getting into bed. Open the WatchPad case. You will find a helpful illustrated guide in the side pocket. Make sure the fingernails of that hand are trimmed and without polish. Remove all jewelry and avoid hand cream. Optional step. Placement of snore and body position sensor. Optional sensor. Follow instructions only if you see the sensor attached to the watch pad. Thread the cable through your pajama sleeve up to the neck opening. Peel the backing from the small round sticker of the sensor. Attach the sensor to the sternum just below the sternal notch. Trim or shave chest hair if needed. Secure the sensor in place with medical tape. You'll be putting the watch pad on your non-dominant hand. Here you see how a right-handed person puts the device on his left hand. Place the watch pad on a flat surface. Insert your hand and close the wrist strap making sure it's snug but not too tight. Follow the illustrated instructions to correctly attach the oximeter sensor. First, place the sensor on a firm surface with the side with writing facing down. Next, peel off the protective backing. Now, place the tip of your ring finger just before the midline of the oximeter and fold the side wings. Then, fold the oximeter over the finger, ensuring that the black protrusions are opposite each other. Fold down the side wing and gently wrap the long flap around your finger. Make sure not to wrap the end flap too tightly. Now, place the PAT probe on your index finger. If your index finger is too large for the PAT probe, you can choose another finger that fits better. For example, your pinky. Choose carefully. Once in place, the PAT probe cannot be removed and placed on a different finger. Insert your index finger all the way into the probe. The tab labeled top should be situated on the top side of your finger. While pushing against the surface like a table or your leg, gently and firmly remove the tab. Be careful not to twist the probe. You are now ready to turn the watch pad on. Get into bed and press firmly on the round button for a few seconds. Keep pressing until Itamar Medical is displayed on the LCD screen. After about 30 seconds, a good night in the middle of the screen indicates that the study has started. If there is a problem, you will see Test Aborted. In that case, note the error code and call the help desk. WatchPat is now working properly and it's time to go to sleep. In the morning, remove the PAT probe from your finger. Remove the oximeter, the SPP sensor if attached, and remove the device from your hand. Watch PAT cannot be turned off. A red light on the oximeter will continue to glow. This is normal. Now return the device along with the PAT probe, SPP if attached, and oximeter sensor to the case. Return the illustrated guide to the case. That's all there is to it. If you follow carefully the steps presented here, you should have a successful WatchPat sleep diagnostic test. Thanks for watching.